cottage and my cozy minimal decorating. So with a little cottage being about 480 square foot, I had no room for a tree, but I wanted to still make it quaint and cozy for our guests and wanted to make it feel Christmassy and just inviting, but not overbearing because it is a small space and I want people to feel like they can move around, they can still put their luggage in here and they have counter space. So it is not like I do my home, but it is still having some beautiful, simple touches of Christmas. So first of all, I decided I had to decorate the shelves behind me and there was just no way around it. So I had a lot of these items on hand. Honestly, I didn't go out and buy a single thing. So anything you see, oh, I guess I bought two things from a friend who owns a home decor store, I guess, when she had a Christmas open house, but they were very minimal and inexpensive too. It's just cute to add to this cottage. So the shelves are my favorite. These green trees, these three wooden green trees I've had for years and I just thought it was very wintry and it would transition so well into the winter season. And then just a little strand of red berries up on the top shelf, the one that's not used as often because I want people to still be able to access the plates and dishes and stuff like that. Um, from having this open for about five months now, I have noticed not a lot of people cook in here, even though we have a full kitchen. So I'm not too worried about that aspect of it. So that's why I thought I could throw a strand of berries up on the top. And then I added some pine cones and some little gold and red glass balls in my blue basin jars, which I just love that rustic um, yet red uh, Christmas vibe that that brings out on them. And just randomly throughout the cottage you'll see reds. I don't do a lot of reds in my home. So it was fun to add like these pops of pillows here, these checkered pillow covers, the red on the tea towel, got that ironed and hung up so that that is inviting and Christmassy for our guests. And just these glass Christmas trees, a lot of these items, if you've watched my videos for a while, you would have seen in my own home, but I have transitioned out of a lot of these. But I thought they would still be so cute in here. So then I did put them in here, of course, those clear Christmas trees with the pine cones and the red and gold as well. And just some faux greens, like one on the counter by our guest book with this little Christmas tree decor. And again, I didn't want a lot on the counters, like I said, so that people can still use it if they deem, if they need to put dishes on the counter and have space to set phones, foods they bring in and whatnot. I think one of my other favorite spaces is this little corner over here. So it's right on the side, right side of our entry. It's kind of a hidden gem because <laughs> that's where they can put their shoes. We have a hall tree, a bench, I just brought in a teeny little tree that I had thrifted a while back, threw on a checkered scarf there on the bench, and just called that a cozy look for a little welcome corner. Um, the scarf will probably have to be moved, I guess, you know, when guests come. But for now, it's just so Christmassy and cozy, and I love having a little tree in here at least. And then I just hung these little mittens on the mirror by where people get ready to leave or put their coats on and stuff like that because I just thought that was so charming to have the little mittens, of course, because that's where you put your mittens and boots and stuff on by the door. And then just very simple in this little living space, these checkered pillows, like I said, just always switching out pillow covers. That's what I like to do in my home, what I like to do in here. The table is so minimal. I just use a like vintage pitcher with some greens. These are the two little green stems that I got from my friend's store. And over in the little fireplace TV section, that fireplace just adds a nice glow with a little snowman. Like, why not put a fun little snowman in here? Because I don't really do that in my home. And then hung a couple stockings with some command hooks. So they have no holes in the walls yet. So I just decided to put some up in here to kind of just make it an inviting place and these stockings are so cute with the vintage vibe and then the wardrobe behind me i hung two faux wreaths with some dollar store ribbon that is burlap and it has like some ivy and holly on it it's just a cute little touch to it by tacking it behind the door and again it's just simple very simple i don't want to make it 
hard for people to access things. One little touch on the bed is just a pillow that I have had in my home for many, many years. But again, I don't want to make it overbearing for people too. And just making the space still feel warm, inviting, and Christmassy without um, an overpowering sense. Bathroom was super minimal. This flocked little tree in this terracotta pot, pot was again from my friend's store. A little pine cone, a little fake miniature tree, and call it a day on the vanity with some faux greens hanging with a ribbon on one of the bathroom hooks. So I did not do a whole lot in here. And for fall, I didn't really show you like a fall tour because I, again, I didn't do a whole lot. When you have guests here very regularly, and it's a small space, it's hard to decorate a lot and put lots of decor out here, but I'm really enjoying this space for the Christmas season and it may change. I might add a few more touches here and there and put a throw over the bed end if I find something because it is cooler out now. And so having that extra cozy factor on the bed would be a nice touch as well. But I hope you enjoyed just seeing my minimal additions to the cottage. And I will put the link for the cottage if you ever are interested in looking at it, if you're nearby and want to come travel through and book it just so that you can check that out. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video.